scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. On this, the fourth attempt at recording this particular review, it's as if none of my equipment wants me to tell you how good this book truly is. Doctor Who, The Hooniverse, The Untold History of Space and Time by George Mann and many, many others. I can't repeat what I've already said because all I've done is gone on about how utterly brilliant this book is. Every Christmas, the BBC bring out something marvellous. And what were they going to do this year? In a year without Doctor Who, a year without new photographs? Well, they've done this. This is the book you'll be wanting to open on Christmas Day. Yes, the little things like the books with class or indeed those nice reprints of Doctor Who, they're great. But... The big thing, the thing that you'll want, the thing that you'll throw your arms around your loved ones and thank them for getting, or indeed the thing that you'll be cross if they haven't got you, is this. It's about an inch and a half thick and fully illustrated, and that's what I'm going to talk about next. If my recorders don't give in. I can't believe that this is the fourth time I've recorded this particular review. Now, when you're presented with Doctor Who, you've got an issue. We, as fans... Adore Doctor Who, and always will. We will forgive it any visual effects. We will not see aged time travel. We will not see wobbly walls or any of these things that people bang on about, but other people will. They will look at a Teraleptil and see a man in a rubber suit where we see a well-thought-out alien creature. So how do you have the history of the universe and present it accurately, according to Doctor Who, as accurately as you can manage, and still manage to present it in something beautifully. Well, what you do is you go to concept art, paintings, and not photographs. There are very few, if any, photographs in this particular book. There are, however, paintings to die for, the sort of thing that you want framed on your walls if only your wives or husbands would let you. And trust me, they might. They probably won't. No, seriously, they they won't, right? Don't, Don't even get your hopes up, they just won't. No, anyway, this is a glorious piece of work. Of course, it's split up into sections. There's the history of the universe from the Daleks' point of view, the history of pre-Earth, the formation of the Earth, Scaroth of Jaggeroth helping out making the pyramids. All of these things are here. There are new and interesting designs, artistic takes on things. And you know what? Not only are the illustrations glorious, oh, and trust me, they so are. But the writing itself and the descriptions all make sense. If you're a fairly new fan to Doctor Who, you'll be blown away by the in-depth studies. But if you're not, you'll be nodding away with the way it's all been structured and written. This is truly a thing of beauty and well worth picking up. So if you are looking for something to ask for, this is it. So yes, maybe it's the not we might be right. Some of the effects might be ropey. But with this book on your hands, you can prove it prove them wrong so with that i'll let you go and get ready for christmas so until next time be seeing you that was the doctor who tin dog podcast available on itunes youtube twitter rss vimeo and across the internet doctor who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the bbc no infringement is intended why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.